predictions, Pat? My prediction is a, a large one. It's in the, when Biden comes into power, this virus is going to be at its horrible worst, killing thousands. But at the same time, the vaccines will be rising. And so Joe, Joe Biden may be seen in by the middle of, say, the summer of 19 or 2021 as the guy who presided over our coming out of the virus. And I think and as a consequence, it might be hugely beneficial to him personally. Eleanor. Well, thank you, Pat. That's the, the best prediction I've heard from you in a quite a long time. <laughs> you, know, you were ready to contradict my prediction. <laughs> right, exactly. I'm not going to con contradict that one. Uh, my prediction is that uh, ex-President Trump will be the first ex-president to be uh, banned from getting uh, intelligence classified information from the administration because his, his debt, $400 million that he's personally vouched for, uh, makes him susceptible to foreign pressure. And his friendliness with some certain regimes also makes him uh, a security risk. He could never get security clearance on his own. He only had it because he was elected president. He will not have it anymore. And he will not get any secrets from the new administration that he can potentially sell for money. I think you could say that about a lot of presidents with security clearances based on government people. But anyway, John, your prediction. Uh, my prediction is that Lamar Alexander will flip his vote on uh, Fed nominee Judy Shelton, and she will make it to the Fed board. Uh, to be clear, the Fed's power of the economy has always been overstated. The idea that it could set the price of credit has always been laughable, but it will be good for the central bank to finally have a different point of view, a different viewpoint inside there uh, to basically tweak all the economists who believe one way. And so she's on her way. Clarence? Uh, I'm feeling optimistic, Tom, about a deal for, co for a, a COVID relief. Uh, the, uh, both Democrats and Republicans are starting to make some significant movement on Capitol Hill, uh, not as much as the $400 a week that was, was uh, sent out to, to the uh, unemployed uh, with the earlier relief pack package, but higher than $100 that uh, Republicans want to give Nancy Pelosi now. I think it would be somewhere closer to, to the $300 a week. I predict that if Joe Biden nominates Michelle Flournoy to be his defense secretary, it will be a sign that the president-elect has serious interest in bipartisanship. Republicans like Flournoy for that role. Thank you for watching. See you next week.